And what I've got here is a piece of curved plastic that I found. As I come up to it, I need to be leaning forward to go over that angle. And then obviously, as I come over to the side, I'm doing the exact opposite, unless I want to accelerate away. I'm looking ahead, I want to be leaning forward for extra power, but I also need to be leaning back as I drop down over the side. Going up the bump, power, off power, power. It's very difficult to demonstrate, but hopefully you're getting the concept of what you need to do. Constant reading and constant adjustments very, very rapidly, which you don't get on the flat, but you do on very rough ground. Have to keep doing these adjustments all the time. Rough ground, so it makes your gravel. Now, when traveling along like this, and especially at speed, keep your knees bent. You're ready for any sort of impact you're gonna have into, with the wheel hitting into the ground. Up and down, up and down, constantly in very small motions. So where I am here, there's a bump coming up, knees bent. You can see yourself going into a higher rise than the rest of it. You just need to lift up. If you're unsure how to do this, take a look at the jump video. So what I'm constantly doing is I am flexing my knees. I'm accelerating forward. I'm looking ahead to see if there's any bump and I'm trying to compensate for them. Coming back up, it's a bump. Compensate, nice and light. Try and be real light and bendy. You can weave. So this is even bumpier, it's more gravel, it's bigger stones. Same again, you're looking ahead for any cat things that are gonna catch you out and just trying to stay light. And by light, I mean when you come up to a bump, you're going, you know you're gonna go a little sharp incline for a split second. Try and take as much weight off the unit as you can. It should just roll over that bump. Okay guys, I hope that's helped you learn how to ride rough, uneven ground. It's a very close brother to jumping. Uh, with the jumping, you have to go light before you go up something. Check out that video. That will also help you with riding across rough ground to understand the concepts behind it. Um, but I hope this has helped you guys out. Check out our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos. Now, the difficulty you've got with rough ground is because it's naturally uneven, you are constantly going down and up. Now, obviously the motor's trying to sort out what to do, the board is trying to work out how to keep you level for one, and also the amount of power, maximum power inputs you can do, and it's trying to level you off. And it's trying to do this in a quite an unnatural way um, because it's such short, short timings. If you're going up a, what I'm trying to say, if you're on a flat and you're trying to go uphill, and it's a constant uphill, it knows. It could slow you down. But if it's happening every second or every half a second, it's trying to keep up with everything you're doing. Now the way to do to get over this and to ride on rough ground is to read ahead to what you've got to do. The only time you'll get caught out with very rough ground is if you haven't read ahead correctly and you either overpower the unit or you don't put enough power in so you don't make it up that little bump that you're trying to go up. So with uneven ground, rough ground, what I've got in here, I'm actually stood on a gate um, which has got a mesh on it. So the mesh itself is a grid wire mesh and it's got undulations because of the framework around it so I'm trying to use this as a demonstration. Now initially I'm going uphill a tiny little bit then it dips down because of the mesh then it comes over and goes down into a mesh cross all the grids and back up again. Now this one here is a good example so I'm going from a down I'm going over a very short space of time I'm going to be going from a high point down to the middle of this bump and up again. Now what obviously what I need to do when I'm going down is to lean back and when I want to power out I need to lean forward to give the unit more power. Now with bumps that are closer together than this, but this is a good example, is you need to be doing all those movements very very rapidly in quick succession and whilst reading forward. So it's quite a complex thing riding across rough ground. So I'm up here now, I want to be leaning back a bit because I'm going down at that point and now I need to be thinking about leaning forward a bit to give me the power to go out. So let's start at the reset at this point here. Okay, leaning back, then leaning forward to power out. Show that again. I'm dropping down and going over. So I need to be leaning back a little bit to slow the unit down to keep it on the same speed because obviously it's going to speed up going downhill. And then I need to lean forward a little bit to get out. So it's lean back, lean forward. And it becomes one smooth movement.